Hi, my name is Blake Johnson. I'm graduating in May with a Master's of Science in Epidemiology. Growing up, uh, my parents always kind of instilled with me these values of service, of giving back, of public health, this idea of looking at your community and thinking about how can you give anything that you can to get back to it. In high school, when I'm kind of coming into my own identity, um, I came out as gay and that it kind of was an interesting thing for me in that I was coming into my own identity and really having a lot of affirmation in that, but also realizing that part of being gay is being ascribed to the stigma, this idea of HIV AIDS was really interesting to me that this disease was really just directly uh, associated with this identity. That all kind of influenced in terms of me coming into public health. I started college with this kind of mindset of like, why does this one population have such a higher prevalence of HIV than other populations? I was really excited to come to Harvard to link up with my advisor, Matthew Mimiaga. And when Matthew and I were first chatting, he was telling me about his work at Fenway Health, which is an LGBT community health center in Boston. And I was really excited about this idea that I could take what I'm learning in the classrooms, really drive into theory, into methods in the classroom, but immediately walk 15 minutes down the road to Fenway and jump in to a laboratory setting, to a clinical setting where I could actually be working as an epidemiologist. This past year I've served as the president of the Queer Student Alliance at Harvard Chan. This is a really good avenue for myself and other students who work in LGBT health to hold events, to host things that are aimed at educating the broader Chan community about issues in LGBT health, or a lot of us call for, we're advocating for this concept in terms of physician education that by training physicians to work with LGBT patients, we're actually training them to work with patients from all different identities that are different from their own. A lot of physicians end up coming to get their masters in public health, and I've done my training in public health, and I'm going the other way, and I'm heading to medical school next. I feel I have a duty as a native North Carolinian. I've taken these skills, these lessons I've learned from my time away from North Carolina, and I'm excited to get back, especially at a time where House Bill 2 was just passed. And House Bill 2 is a sweeping piece of discriminatory legislation that was passed in recent weeks that the thing that gets the most press about it is this bathroom aspect that you're now required to be using the bathroom that aligns with the sex on your birth certificate. And for many trans-identified individuals, this creates kind of a disparity between your gender, your current gender identity and the sex of your original birth certificate. From a health perspective, we're looking at, you know, what does it even mean to be affirmed by the law, to have your identities affirmed by the law? And I'm really excited to be going back to the research triangle area, diving into kind of a policy aspect of work as well in terms of advocating for LGBT populations in the South. And I ultimately would like to be an academic clinician who's looking into research with my own patient body, with, from my own observations with my patients, but all of it is driven by directly this interaction between myself and the patient. And that's what really excites me about public health.